Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Reconnection. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the solstice and the full moon. They're back to back with each other. It's going to be a doozy, ladies and gentlemen. So what is it about this energy? Well, first of all, I want to explain to you if you if your vibration is a little bit elevated and you might not be totally in the new level even if not we can help you get there but if not um it's okay but you'll feel things a little bit ahead of time people that are a little bit more progressed in their journey will feel some things ahead of time sometimes it doesn't feel good what do i mean by that well you could if you're a female you could feel aspects of your um reproductive system let's put it that way you know you might feel a little crampy leg aches uh little shooting pains here and there headaches sometimes big headaches like migraine or something similar to a migraine we help you through that but when it comes to the solstice this is a pivotal energy this means that it's a pivot point you want to make some positive decisions for yourself you want to use this lunar energy to do it. And so how does this appear? Like, where should you focus? Okay. Where you should focus is, um, first of all, there are several, you could say may, maybe undertone energies and overtone energies. And these are Mars energy. So this is going to be conflict, arguments, war, battling, you know, like, the extreme would be warlike energy or people that want to go to war with each other, honestly, feeling very hostile and maybe a teensy bit homicidal that's happening in this energy where people are just like getting on your nerve and you're just like these humans here, right? The human beings and they're not awakened and they're maybe not activated and they're just doing what they always do, but you can feel it very amplified. Why can you feel it amplified? Because your twin is also feeling it. You're feeling the squeeze. You're feeling the nudge to get out of, run, do not walk to the nearest exit, out of the old paradigm, right? So this is going to be uh, Jupiter, which is uh, an overlighting energy of your, you know, divine masculine, but the kind that's benevolent, that's sort of like, let me see how I can surprise you in a good way. Like surprise party. How can we do that? A door opening. Uh, someone is coming in to help you. A situation gives way. Things like that. Now you have to do the brand new twin flame body work. You have to do some body work in order for these things to really play out for you properly. For those doors to open. For you do not feel fear in the presence of people who want to oppose you because it's not necessarily in those big situations. It's in your daily grind that just erodes people's spirits away. And you feel like why you feel futile or you feel like that retaliatory energy, like I'll give it to them when they least expect it. No, you won't because your soul is going to not put up with that. Your soul wants you to do it differently and do it better. Do it the new way, which is the way we teach how to do this. And yeah, you might have to pause with that a moment. So there's this is going to affect a lot of star seeds, especially those star seeds from the Pallades. This is going to feel highly personal to you because there has been a lot of destruction that your twin flame union has endured. And a lot of people, it's sort of blanked where you don't remember the details. I can see details and some of it is just, it's been the karma that you are ending. And yet you're getting some of the content of it where you don't feel okay. You feel like, is this really my life? Like, why aren't the doors opening? Where is this? Why is it taking so long? What is it exactly that I have to unblock or heal or, you know, gear up for? I'm not getting my guidance. Do you want to get some of your twin flame messages from your twin flame and from your higher self? Please work with us because we are experts in this. 
We don't have to pull cards to do it. It comes through because we are open vessels and we are able to positively get your proper guidance messages. And I mean like beautiful, loving, lovely messages, not messages that are, you know, somehow putting you on the sideline, helping you to move forward. Because if one of you doesn't start moving forward, you both don't move forward. You're both kind of bobbing in the water, treading water. You're not supposed to just tread water, although it can feel like that sometimes where you're just like, what's my next move? So also in this energy, you know, like some of, for star seeds, that's been carried over to some of the, you know, systems here. Uh, and I mean the solar system, like Mars energy, we didn't just dream up, you know, belligerent, you know, arrogant Mars energy. It came from somewhere long ago and far away in a galaxy far, far away. Well, it's still the Milky Way galaxy, but you get me. Um, the other thing, this is a long sustained review of your relationships, particularly romantic relationships. And this is where you need to sit up, pay attention. What's really happening? What can you discern? If you cannot discern, if you need help, let us help you with that discernment, guidance, and the messages from your twin flame. Because you want to help each other. That's what love does. You help each other. We are your guides. We are activators. We are healers. We are twin flame healers. And so what is it about really looking at this long sustained review of relationships? Well, what is your pattern in relationship? And what is your body screaming? Like what are, what is every cell in your body doing? Okay. I feel sick. I'm taken advantage of. I'm, I can't live like this. Like what is, what is it that you feel like? This is what you want to review and actually not at the solstice and the full moon, but we can help you at that. So please check the link below for how we help. How can you do this with a supportive group or a session? What is longstanding that you don't need and you don't want to carry with you, but you want the relationship, okay? So long-standing review of relationships this is started actually from two years ago through retrograde energy through lunar energy and the seasons changing so this season change is very critical because this is where you're saying i'm doing this if at the very least in your position and situation all you can do is say to your higher self i'm here to do this then do that. That is what I want to encourage you to do. Now, if you're able to take that to the next step and say, I want to find out what the real work is. What do I do? How do I deepen my intuitions, my gifts, my discernment? How do I get empowered so I can take charge of this union and start moving it forward? Work with us. We will help you. That is what we do. So we don't want this to be a mystery. This is actually not intended to be esoteric, no matter how many ancient words people apply to it, no matter how they want to drag out ancient Sanskrit. Like we use some of these words like chakras, you know, by now, not everyone knows what the word chakra means, but a lot of people toss it around like, you know, yeah, your chakras are blocked, you know, just get them unblocked. There's a little more to it than that, but yes, we can start from there. Do you feel? What do you feel? How are you feeling it? Who are you feeling it from? Okay, long-standing review of relationships in this energy to pivot you. The next thing is, it is pivotal. Okay, and a really good thing about this energy is, it is very conducive to making changes a lot easier. Now, I recently had someone that I was working with where somehow one of her re relationships, it was a long-standing friendship, almost from childhood, from teen years. She had trouble with that relationship because that friend 
had a husband and the husband was uh he's in his cups so he drinks a lot we're not going to name names or put labels but let's suffice it to say that when he was in his cups he was pretty darn sarcastic and cutting and biting and very controlling and all this stuff and it really hurt people's feelings it hurt his wife's feelings it hurt my client's feelings and it was highly upsetting because she didn't want to lose the friendship of her friend but somehow they were a package deal and and this was how she kept getting this every single time they'd get together you know criticism and control and cut downs and put downs and you know diminishing her self-worth and then you add to that her own childhood stuff the inner child in her was very wounded we worked on it she had to stay away for you know a little month and it wasn't like saying never darken my door you people are toxic what we do it is differently we unlock that weird tense energy that is holding patterns in place okay it's like a fishing net it's like something that's holding like just garbage in place it got trapped there right part of the matrix maybe or you know how is she going to even get her messages and if she's focused on all that you know junk garbage garbage in the relationship how is she ever going to focus on her twin flame and furthermore help her twin flame with situations on his side right that's where we come in and we work with the person to do the work using their brand new light body and using some other techniques to activate the parts of them that need to bond with other people but keep the main bond within the twin flame union and not everyone knows how to do that in fact psychologists don't know they'll tell you write those people a letter spell it out speak your truth guess what that ruins relationships that's when people get defensive go in their ego because they are not coming from the same vibration as you I don't mean just the same vibe I mean the same vibrational level because when you get to a different vibrational level you may be stooping down to have some of these relationships especially if people are drinking drugging or it's your family and they're toxic and they're drinking drugging or it's people at work you know that does lower the vibration I mean that is a scientific fact people do it that's how they're coping they don't know about this you do you know now and now you can respond and now you're responsible so how do we do this pivot let's use this energy as a pivotal energy to more easily make changes in your life so solstice full moon and watch out on the after the moon because it kind of goes like this okay the moon energy rises you have a solstice and then it, it's almost like a wave crashing and you know what it reminds me of I call it the flotsam and the jetsam think about this the energy is rising people are wishing on a full moon they're wishing for change and then yeah maybe some of it gets dislodged with this but that doesn't mean they've done the work all they did was make a wish and then it crashes down and everyone's floating in whatever they wanted to release that's what people tell you to do release it but what they're not doing is that next step of in integrate your new connections to make it better repair it fix it repair yourself heal yourself get you to a new level so that that next moon you're here and it has less impact on you you might feel it okay and the same principle works with solar flares those things where people say it's the Schumann resident resonance not residence <laughs> wouldn't that be funny this is where we reside that's your residence in that resonance no uh -uh. Mm -mm. you're not supposed to live there you're not supposed to be affected by low voltage things that just are like wah, wah. you're supposed to be up here where it's like way down below you wah, wah. all it's serving you is hey let's plug in an appliance I need to plug in my hair dryer or I need to plug in the internet or I need to plug in and unplug from it because now we're going to be kissing each other right so solstice and full moon please let us help you 
check it out and have a good wish on this full moon. I do wish for your wishes and beyond. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.